Hey guys, so today I have a pen pal snail mail pocket, not pocket litter, but a flip book tutorial. I've been meaning to post a video like this for a really long time now, just never really had time to edit it because it, the process just takes me a while sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my process. I'm using some new spring paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning as well as the Dear Lizzie Serendipity line. And these are all single-sided papers, so I just um, glued them to each other um, back to back. So it was a total of six pattern papers. Here I am just choosing um, where I want each piece to go. And I'm gonna use some washi to put the book together. And I chose some of the sugar paper for Target washi tape that they had in their Christmas collection um, last year, and I'm just going to use that to adhere all these pages together. So I've had some videos of these recorded already, and I just chose to delete them all and make a video today and just start brand new, just because I forgot exactly what I did to um, my past flipbook. So anyways, here I am just binding all of the pages together with one piece of washi. And here you can see all the pages done. So here is my little tray that I got from Target, that black tray, and I put everything inside of there that I'm going to use for my pen pal uh, flipbook making. So here's just a Project Slave card and a couple doilies. That heart doily I used my new um, physics, I believe, or no, spells, sorry, spellbinders die to make that, and it comes out so cute. Um, I also kept the punch outs that came from the doily. Um, they were a bunch of hearts and triangles to use as confetti for a pocket, and you guys will see that later. So I'm just picking up some die cuts as well as some enamel dots just to decorate the front used a black polka dotted washi to add some interest to the front. Here I wanted to use one of these envelopes, but then it's going to get covered if I were to adhere it down. Um, so I'm going to use one of these journaling cards that I've shown in my last haul video to make it as a, a mail tag. So I'm going to go ahead and use some washi tape to adhere it to this page here so that way this becomes a flap as well. So the journaling cards are single sided. I didn't point that out in my haul video but they are single sided so I am going to have to decorate that side. Um, I'm just making sure that I reinforce it with two pieces of washi tape. And then I'm digging through some die cuts. I actually have two of these die cut packs, but I chose to just open this one up because I already separated my other one um, because I'm reorganizing my craft space. So here I have um, an envelope punch board as well as the one, two, three punch board. Either one will work because they both make envelopes. If you don't have one, there are templates online that you can find that are there for free for your use. So you can most definitely use that. This envelope punch board is just more convenient. Um, now I have two envelope punch boards, but I mean, <laughs> it's okay. The more the better, I guess. So I'm using this blue marble paper, which I love, and I use, that's from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity line. And as if you guys can tell, I don't go in order when it comes to um, working on the pages. I jump back and forth. Um, it's just how I work. I honestly can't stick to one page. Sorry. Um, I honestly can't just stick to one page. I'm continuing decorating it. I have to go back and forth and yeah, <laughs> that's just how I work. So here I'm just going to put tag with some stickers. And then these are one of those 2x2 two two plastic baggies that I got from Tuesday morning. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some sequins, um, glitter, like the thick pink glitter, and then those 
die cut hearts that I showed you, I told you guys about, that I got from the leftovers of that heart doily. I'm going to be looking for a journaling card to decorate this piece, or this page. And then I find one from the Heidi Swap picture seal, or picturesque, something like that, um, the, from her line, and it says, don't mind if I do. And I'm going to use a paper clip just to clip down this baggie so that way it doesn't, um, it's easier for the rece recipient to take it out. And I'm looking for some letters to um, put sparkle pack. That's what I call the glitter, um, my little um, shaker pocket type things. I call those my sparkle pack just because it's always so sparkly with the glitter and the sequins and die cuts and stuff. And I'm going to decorate the clear envelope with just a gold heart sticker. So again, just flipping to see what needs to be decorated. And then I'm looking for more die cuts. And then I wanted to make an envelope so that way I can put some more, um, some more like stickers and stuff for my recipient. And so she loves Hello Kitty, so I am going to put some Hello Kitty stickers that I have in my stash. And I need an envelope to put those in. So here I'm cutting a piece that measures about 3 by 4. Not even like, uh, about, I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I totally forgot, but it's just enough to where she can reach in and take out the stickers. So I'm using a glue stick, um, making these flip books, the glue stick is the best. Um, I love my roller adhesive, but I'd rather use a glue stick because I know that it'll, um, I don't know, just feel more safe with it, I guess. So here is one of those gold doilies from um, Michaels from the spring collection, um, my collection. And I'm just going to layer a little bit and trim it all. I'm going to use one of these Target One Spot arrows. And I'm going to go and grab some stickers that I can put into the pocket. So I'm going to use some of the um, chipboard stickers, I believe, to decorate the rest of this page. But first I'm going to put stickers using some more um, Target One Spot um, stickers that are from last year or the year before, I'm not sure, but these are really old. Um, but I'm using that to spell out stickers and to put a gold heart. Here you'll see the chipboards that I'm using by Primo, and it matches the journaling card. And I'm just going to put this one right here. And then I'm going to move on to the male one. And I have this die cut from Crate Paper. I believe the Maggie Holmes one. I'm not positive. But yeah. And I'm um, going to use the one spot from Target. The seals. Those ones will easily come off. So um, I know I didn't put a letter in there yet. But um, I can easily peel it off and put my letter in. So here is a one spot sticky note, or a list pad, and it has a little girl holding some balloons, or it could be a woman, um, and I'm going to use the confetti tag and just adhere it down just to give the page more interest, and I use some gold photo corners that I had in my stash as well. These are some it look like they look like black, but in the light it's more of a dark purple. They're um, some bling stickers that I recently purchased, and here is just a die cut for my stash. And then for the back, I'm gonna look for a journaling card, and I found one that said, "I love." Or it's something that 
relates to currently. So I put that card and you'll see it here. And it's from the Serendipity line. And it was from one of the 12 by 12s and I just cut all the cards out because there was always that cut, um, the cut apart sheet. So that's what I did. Um, and it says I love right now. So I use some stickers or letter stickers to put down currently. And then that's gonna be the end of that. So, um, oh, this is another one of those um, dies from the doilies that I showed you guys in my last haul video. And I wanted to use it, so those little hearts that are there that were punched out, I kept those and also put those inside the little shaker, um, the sparkle pack. And that's it. So here I am showing you a little flip of how it looks, but I'm also going to show you how I'm going to wrap up this um, flip book. I'm also going to um, put this in a 5x7 envelope because I'm going to be sending her a couple of other things like um, the Disney stuff that I showed in my haul video. I'm going to be sending her those as well. So I am going to stick it all inside of a mailing envelope, the cushion ones. So here is um, one of those doilies from the one spot. And I'm going to make an envelope. You have to be really careful because I ripped mine because it's super thin. I wasn't careful, kept tugging on it. So I'm just using some washi to adhere it. And then I'm going to use some baker's twine to wrap around the envelope. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I will have that link down in the description box. I will have a flip through of it on my Instagram as well. It's just a little bit of a slower flip through. But that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.